starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Tony Dow, and Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Trying to hold my hand? No, dear. I was wondering what time it is. It's 10 15. Shouldn't Wally be home from the basketball game by now? Well, about now, I'd say they've had their showers, and the team's probably in the corridor acting like big shots. <laughs> Suppose they lost. No, well, in that case, they're in the corridor acting like uh, good losers. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hello, Wally. Hi, Wally. Ah, you won, huh? Yeah, I scored three points. I could have scored more, only I got sent out on fouls. Well, how long did you play? A little over two minutes. Well, I'm kind of tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, Wally. Good night, son. Good night. Ward? When Wally left the house, wasn't he wearing his sweater? No, I think he was wearing his reversible jacket. Maybe he had on his car coat. <laughs> you know, we're a couple of very observant parents. If he ever gets lost, we won't be able to describe him to the Missing Persons Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, what's the paper say about the weather? Well, let's see. They expect a falling barometer and a low pressure area moving in. What's that mean? Means they think it might rain, but they're not sure. <laughs> Morning, dear. Morning. Morning, Beaver. Morning, Dad. Well, you're uh, eating breakfast in your raincoat, huh? Sure, Dad. This is why I'm ready for the bus, and if I spill my breakfast on me, it won't show. <laughs> Wait for the bus now. Beaver, the bus won't be here for 10 minutes. I know, but this way, I'll have plenty of time to stand around in the rain. I don't like you standing out there in the wet. Gee, Mom, what's good to have in the rain if you can't stand around in it? <laughs> Bye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Beaver, come back here. June. June, the boy's been standing in the rain for years. We can't infringe on his rights. <laughs> now, Ward, I don't like. Hi. What's the argument about? We're not arguing. Ah, oh, heck. Where's your raincoat? Well, I won't need it, Dad. I'm running to school. Wally, well, you get soaking wet. Oh, no, I won't. I run under awnings and trees and stuff. I won't get wet at all. Wally, I think you'd better at least wear a sweater. Yes. Well, but heck, Dad, I don't have any sweaters that fit me. My turtleneck, I can't get my head through the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you uh, have your high school letterman sweater. Wear that. Oh, well, um, well, that's sort of in school. Sort of in school? You haven't lost it, have you? Uh, well, no. No, I haven't lost it. Wally, that sweater cost $19. Now, you bring it home this evening. Uh, yeah, well, I'll try to. Try to? Well, you will to. Yes, sir. Uh, I will, too. As soon as you finish your breakfast, you can go upstairs and put on your reversible jacket. And I'll loan you my umbrella. Umbrella? Gee, Mom, what are you trying to do? Ruin me with the guys? Well, uh, I think at least you should wear your jacket. And, uh, you be sure and bring that sweater home tonight. Yes, sir. Look, Wally, when you see her, just tell her you want your sweater back. But, heck, Eddie, I don't know her that good. Then how come you loaned her your sweater? Well, she came up to me after the basketball game, and she said she was cold. She was giggling and stuff, so I said she could wear it home. So she was cold, so she wore it home, so I asked her for it back. Okay, okay, so I'll ask her for it back if I see her. Hey, here she comes. Ask her for it. Oh, yeah, okay. Go on. Oh, Francis. Uh, can I see you a minute? Oh, yes, Wally. 
Girls, I'll meet you outside. What is it? Well, uh... uh Wally, the rain certainly makes your hair curly, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I had a dog once that used to do the same thing to. What did you want, Wally? Well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, I wanted to ask you about my sweater. Oh. oh! Is this your sweater? I knew I borrowed it from some cute boy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh... And I thought, uh, if you're finished using it, could I have it back? Oh, why, of course, Wally. Oh, well, thanks a lot. I'll bring it to school and give it to you the first thing tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Why, Wally, I worked to school this morning, and you wouldn't want me to get all soaky going home, would you? Oh, uh, no, uh, no, I wouldn't want you to do that. Oh, uh, th that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye now. <laughs> How come you didn't get it? Well, uh, it's raining out and everything, and she didn't want to get all soaky going home. Oh, brother. Well, yeah, but it's okay. She said she'd bring it to school first thing tomorrow morning. Hey, Wally, you know what day tomorrow is? What? Saturday. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, uh, well, I guess she didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. And she'll probably bring it in Monday morning. Oh, sure she will. Hey, you want to walk over to the gym while I get my books? Or are you afraid of getting all soaky? <laughs> Did you find out why Wally didn't bring the sweater home tonight? Uh, he said he'd bring it home Monday. But why didn't he bring it home today? I asked him that, and he said he'd bring it home Monday. <laughs> Do you think he lost it? No, I don't think so. Why can't he just come out and tell us what happened to it? Well, dear, unfortunately, he's at the age where he feels a direct answer can only get him into trouble. Do you think he'll bring it home Monday? Yes, I think he will. I told him he'd better bring it home Monday or else. Or else what? Well, right off the bat, I couldn't think of an or else to tell him. But he better have that sweater here, my dear. There'll certainly be an or else. Gee, Wally, why would you go and give your sweater to a girl? Well, because she asked me for it. Then why don't you ask her for it back? I did, and she wouldn't give it to me. Then why didn't you sock her? Heck, you can't sock a girl. Gee, lots of them sock me. Well, I sock a couple of them back. Yeah, but that's different. You're just a kid. I mean, your age, girls aren't really girls yet. When do they turn into girls? Well, I don't know. Just, uh, just all of a sudden you turn around and, and they're girls. <laughs> and a guy's got to be polite and junk. Hey, maybe you can't get your sweater back from the girl because she's got you in her power. What are you talking about? I saw in a picture once. This lady had cat's eyes, and she turned this whole bunch of guys into zombies just by looking at them. And they all went out and jumped off a cliff. Yeah, I just loaned her my sweater. Uh, boys, your mother and I are going down to the drugstore. We'll be back in about half an hour. OK, Dad. Uh, Wally, don't you forget about that sweater Monday. Oh, uh, sure, Dad. Boy, I really got to get that sweater back now. How can Mom and Dad are making such a big fuss? Well, it's your sweater when you made your letter Mom and Dad gave it to you. Look, Beaver, when your parents give you something that's worth $19, it's never really yours. <laughs> Thank you. What was so important we had to come down here tonight? Oh, nothing special. I just wanted to get out of the house. Well, it cost us exactly $8.16 to get out of the house. Well, after I got here, I saw a lot of things I needed. Uh-huh. Uh, how about a soda? Think we can afford it? <laughs> Two black and whites. No whipped cream in one, please. Oh, coward. He's been trying to get a date with me for two weeks. He just follows me everywhere. I didn't think Wally Cleaver followed any girls. 
Well, he doesn't. <laughs> but he told me, Francis, you're not just any girl. That doesn't sound like Wally. Well, I think I know him a lot better than you do. After all, I'm the one he gave his sweater to. What, did you hear that? Well, I guess I'd better be getting home. He might phone me. And the poor dear's just terribly jealous. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, it's his sweater, all right. Who is she? And what's she doing to our baby? Wally's not a baby. He's a sophomore in high school. But, but Ward, she's got him following her around. And, well, I'm just not ready to cope with this kind of thing. June, she's just a silly little high school girl. Silly? Did you see the way she walked out of here? <laughs> Maybe we do have a problem. Well? Well, what? Did you ask Wally what that girl in the drugstore was doing with his sweater? Oh, uh, well, I was going to, dear. But, you know, he's sitting up there on the bed taking the knots out of Beaver's shoestrings. <laughs> he looks so young and naive that I just couldn't face the fact that he was in the clutches of a predatory female. Well, all right, dear, but don't put it off too long. You know, this is very upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose most mothers feel that way. I wouldn't be surprised if my mother might have been a little upset when I started going with you. What was she upset about? Well, I didn't say she was upset. I just said she might have been. Ward, you've been keeping this from me for years. Your mother didn't like me. Oh, yes, she did, dear. She adored you. As a matter of fact, I remember her telling me that you'd probably do me a lot of good. Well, what was wrong with you that you needed somebody to do you a lot of good? I sucked my thumb. <laughs> What's the shovel? The beaver and I are gonna try to dig up that gopher. Uh, it's behind the garage. You be sure you put it back. Oh, sure, Dad. Thanks a lot. Ward, I thought you were gonna talk to him. Oh, dear, this is hardly the time or place. Anyway, as, uh, as long as he has his mind on gophers, I think we're safe. Well, all right, but you talk to him soon. And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna call up that girl's mother. Oh, now, calm down, June. You can't make a crusade out of this. After all, you're not carrying nation. Boy, if you think I'm going to stand around and let Wally do... Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Uh, hi. How come you stopped talking all of a sudden? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, we just happened to stop. Was Uncle Billy in trouble again? No, Beaver. Uncle Billy is fine. Oh. Well, I thought maybe he'd done something good like last time. Uh, Beaver, uh, your brother's waiting outside for you with a gopher. Okay, Dad. Come on, Beef. I got the shovel. Let's go. You know, Wally, well, I think Mom and Dad were talking about you. Well, how come? Because when I came in the kitchen, they stopped talking. Yeah? Well, did they start to spell stuff out? No. They don't do that since I got nine in spelling. Nah, there could be a lot of reasons why they stopped talking. Maybe they just ran out of stuff to say. Heck, they've known each other long enough. Ward! Ward! Oh, Ward. Ward, I think Wally and the Beaver are coming in. Now would be a perfect time to talk to him before lunch. Well, um, well, all right, tell him I want to talk to him. Uh, but don't make it look as though we'd planned it. catching a gopher, but we found Eddie. Good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. It's nice of you to have me for lunch. Oh, yeah, Mom. Can you stay? Well, I guess so. But, Eddie, I wonder if you'd excuse Wally for a few minutes. His father would like to speak to him in the den. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Cleaver. I'll go upstairs and entertain the beaver. <laughs> Come on, beaver. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Hey, Eddie, I thought you were going to entertain.
entertain me. What are you trying to do, be a wise guy? Um, well, lady, you know a girl named Frances? Um, uh, you mean, uh, Frances Hobbs? Well, is that the Frances who has your Letterman sweater? Oh. Oh, you know about that, huh? Oh, yes, yes, we do. We, we saw her in the drugstore last night. She was wearing your sweater. Well, uh, she must have got cold again. <laughs> Wally, I was your age once, and, and, and I can understand how a, well, how a boy can be attracted to a pretty girl. You know, phoning her and following her around and giving her little tokens of affection and being jealous. And... Uh, Dad, I'm mixed up. Are we still talking about me? Yes, Wally, we certainly are. She told the whole drugstore last night about how she had you wrapped around her little finger and how you were following her around. She said that? She certainly did, and naturally, it upset your mother and me very much, especially after you lied about what happened to your sweater. Boy, have I been taken. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm giving you the death ray. <laughs> ah, cut it out, Squirt. I'm reading. Hey, where are you going? Over to that creepy Francis's house and get my sweater back. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Our son has learned a valuable lesson in dealing with women. What lesson? They never want sweaters just because they're cold. <laughs> Why, Wally Cleaver. Hello, Francis. I'm Eddie Haskell. <laughs> from school. And Wally, this must be your cute little brother. Yeah, I'm his cute little brother. Uh, Francis, I... Well, Helen's over and we're making fudge. Would you boys like some? No, thank you. Uh, Francis, I came to get my sweater. Oh, well, Wally, I'm gonna bring it to school on Monday. Uh-uh, would you please go get it right now? Well, all right, Wally. Won't you come in? No, thank you, I'll wait right here. Hey, Wally, maybe after we get the sweater, we could have some fudge. Maybe we ought to get out of here. She might sick her old lady on us. <laughs> no, sir, I'm not leaving until I get that sweater. Here it is, Wally. Thank you. Oh, uh, and another thing, Francis. Just watch what you're saying around in drugstores about me, huh? Who, oh, me? Yeah, just watch what you're saying, that's all. <laughs> Well, we really told her, didn't we, Wally? Who was that? Wally Cleaver. Oh, isn't he the boy you sort of like? Uh-huh. But up till now, I never realized what a real dream he is. <laughs> You're late. Supper's almost ready. Yeah, well, I got stuck. Wally home yet? Yes, they're both home. With or without the sweater? Well, I wasn't here when Wally came in, and I didn't want to go up and ask him. If it was going to turn into a big thing, I just thought I'd save it until you got home. <laughs> You're sweet. <laughs> well, I'll think of some pretext to go up in a few minutes and sort of scout the situation out. What pretext are you going to use this time? Well, I can always fall back on inspecting Beaver's ears. They've never let me down yet. <laughs> well, she didn't wreck it or anything. No, but you know, Wally, it smells kind of girly. Yeah. That's uh, perfume or some kind of junk. I just hang in my gym locker for a couple days. That ought to kill it. Hey, Wally, that was pretty good today. You weren't scared of that girl or nothing. Yeah. It's not so bad when you talk to girls like they're a guy. The only girl I ever liked was Linda Dennison. How come? Because she doesn't mind getting dirty. Hi, fellas. Supper's ready. OK, Dad, we'll be right down. Hey, Wally, what are sweaters made out of? 
Huh? Sheep. Well, I'd hate to be a sheep and get made into a sweater. <laughs> I'll be right down. Is everything all right? Yeah, well, he's got the sweater, but don't mention it. Hello. Wally? Well, uh, who's calling, please? Oh, yes. Well, just a minute. It's for you, Wally. Francis. Oh, uh, thanks. Hello? Yes, this is Wally. No, Francis, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. <laughs> yes, all day. Oh, uh, and Francis, I would appreciate it if you would not be annoying me and calling me on the telephone at my parents' house. <laughs> Thank you. Well, come on, Beaver, dinner. What are we having, Mom? Lamb chops. Well, are they made out of sheep? Uh-huh. Boy, sheep sure have a tough time. Oh, well, come on, Wally. Everything's gonna get cold. Boy, how do you like that, Dad? I told her off real good this afternoon, and now she calls me up. Yes, and I think you can count on her calling you again. And, uh, probably again. It's just, uh, one of the ways of women. <laughs> but, gee, that's goony. Can anything be done about it? No one's ever found a way yet, son. <laughs> Lamb chops, huh? Hey, what are you doing? Practicing to be a hypnotizer. A hypnotizer? Yeah. Like that lady in the movie that made zombies out of guys. Peaver, you can't teach yourself hypnotizing. You gotta send away for a book or something. Anyway, you're supposed to be taking your bath. Yeah. You know, Wally, this time, I think I'll take my bath with my bathing suit on. Well, why would you do that? That way, I can pretend I'm a champion swimmer and get clean at the same time. Yeah, you better not do that. I'll yell at you for getting your bathing suit all wet. Uh... If I gotta take a bath, I might as well get it over with. Hey, Wally. <laughs> Look, Wally, I'm Francis. <laughs> It wasn't that Francis girl, was it? No, it was a very nice fellow. His firm wants to write music to my poem and turn it into a popular song. You never wrote a poem. Well, I told him that. He offered to write the poem, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ward, I just hope that girl stops bothering Wally. But dear, we just have to face it. He's going to be interested in lots of girls, and one of these days he'll end up marrying one. Oh, well, I don't mind that. I just don't think this girl was the right type for him. Um, what type of girl do you think he should marry? Oh, well, some very sensible girl from a nice family. One with both feet on the ground who can cook and keep a nice house and see that he's happy. Well, dear, I got the last one of those. <laughs> That's very sweet of you to say that. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> 